Next, we need to launch the ID, of course. And the ID launcher will ask a workspace. Workspace is nothing but a folder where we will store our projects. So I ask you to create a folder for this course and inside of this create another folder that I call firmware. So when you launch the ID, just browse to this folder. Then you can launch the ID. Then we have this uh, welcome page, we can close it and we can create a new STM32 project. So if you're launching it first time, it might download some stuff. And at this point, we have to choose our microcontroller. Since we're using board, just choose board selector. And at this point, we have to write nucleo L4 one KB. So we choose this one next and we have to write the name of the project. So I call it STM32. LAG project. Finish. No. And it will start downloading necessary files if you're launching it first time so you have to wait a little bit of time finally we have this nice graphical representation of the microcontroller so we have the name of each pin so instead of writing a code to configure peripherals we can configure the peripherals using this graphical tool so as I told you before, we have uh, PA10 and the PA9 that are responsible for controlling the LEDs. So let's configure them as an output, GPA output. Also we have um, port B, pin 7, uh, where we have the button. So we have to configure it, configure this pin as GPIO input. Also we can uh, enter um, user label so I call it LED1 control so you just need to press right button uh, of the mouse so LED2 control and here we have let's say button also as you might notice I used only uppercase letters it's a general convention of giving name for pins okay after that um, we can just uh, save the file by pressing ctrl s and it will ask uh, whether to generate code or not so let's press yes remember my decision yes and finally we have all the necessary files so we can start programming without uh, bothering about configuring peripherals so if we first go to core include main.h if we scroll down we can find all it all these macros and if you look at these lines we have gpio pin 9 and pin 10 so as you see we have this um, uh, labels that we entered before also if we go to drivers hull driver include we have these files and if you open this file hull gpo.h and scroll down you can find the following functions okay so i want to uh, first i want to set a um, pin to switch on the LEDs and to do that we have to use the following function so I'm going to copy that and paste it in main.c so we first we have to define 
the port so we have port A but instead of that we have we can use this user label then we have this user label for pin of course and we have to set the status of this pin so if we press right button of the mouse and if we choose open declaration we have this definition of the states of the pin so i want to set so i'm going to choose this uh, name then i go here and paste it here next we need to do is to press this button debug so it will start building the project and we will have also debug mode but also do not forget to connect your um, microcontroller your board at this point okay then we can press ok I will do that later so finally we have this debug mode of the ID then so many functions of that but I'll explain um, all of that as we progress in our learning embedded systems but at this point I was I ask you to press this resume button if you do everything correctly you have to get um, white light emitting from your LEDs so it means that by writing this line we uh, switch it on white LEDs okay next step is to add the button but in order to do that we have to do one more modification or code if you open the declaration of this uh, function so just the press the right button open declaration and if we scroll down we have the configuration of the button at this point and if you look at this uh, line we have um, GPIO no pull but as you might remember we have to use pull up and pull down resistors to 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 read the status of the button using GPIO so we have to ch change this line so if you open the declaration we have pull up pull down let's connect pull up resistor of course we could do that in in the graphical tool but um, here I just want to show how things work so when you um, configure the, the, the peripheral in, in a graphical tool these kind of functions will be generated here we have all the buttons all the GPA pins uh, that are configured so we use pull up next we go to main function and next we need to read the status of the pin so we again go to hal gpio.h and if we scroll down we have the following function that allows us to read the status of the of the pin again we go to main.h and we have to choose the following port and the following pin so instead of that we need to write the port name and we have the following pin so if this button is set we are going to reset this uh, pin so we write reset else we will set the pin and also we need to write this piece of code uh, within within the while loop because we have to we want to check the status of the pin continuously and if you look the condition of while loop we have one which means it's always true so we check the status and depending uh, we check the status of the pin 
and depending on that we will control the the status of LED then we do it again over and over again okay so next we want to do we have to do is to press the back again so we have the debug mode press resume and if we press the button you have to get white light but if when we release it um, the LEDs should switch off okay so it means that using the button we can we can control the status of the LED